Hello and welcome everyone. So I'm going to do a video here on the eight most powerful herbs to detoxify your body. Now, before I get into this, I want to mention that I have used these herbs in the past. Now, I haven't tried all of these lumped together. And that is a suggestion for you folks in small amounts. If you're first starting out detoxing, I definitely would not do that. You're going to get a lot of uh, symptoms such as uh, diarrhea, possibly vomiting, um, headaches, you're not going to feel good. Now, if you have been doing this for a while and you want to put small amounts of these herbs together, uh, that would be uh, probably the most powerful way because you're putting everything together. Now, when it comes to other herbs, in my experience, um, I can tell you that Organic milk thistle does detoxify the body. It rebuilds kidney tissue as well as liver tissue. These will not do that. So let's say your kidneys are, you know, you're not on dialysis, but you know, Western medicine did the test and your kidneys are not up to par even with them. So that means that your kidneys probably have about 30% left, maybe even less. The milk thistle is going to help rebuild that tissue. It's been known to do that, as well as liver tissue. If you have cirrhosis of the liver, it can rebuild that scarred tissue. Of course, it's going to take a while, but an eighth of a teaspoon three times a day of milk thistle, if you get the organic kind um, with 80% uh, of the uh, main ingredient, uh, you're going to not have the uh, issue of not having the milk thistle work because there's a lot of milk thistles on the market that have really been diminished. Just as I've talked about the oregano oil and how New Age has the highest quality and also from now on um, it, it's going to be showing 87 percent carver crawl and if you look at the test on New Age we've put the tests that show um, 86 to 87 percent carvacrol and this was done over a year ago. Since we've had 12 consecutive tests showing that, we have now updated the product labeling and we will be updating the site to show that information. So no need to worry if you've purchased the oregano oil for the last year you're getting the same product. This is just to let people know. Now when it comes into these herbs, let's get into um, this information you're going to get you know an abundance of vitamins from these particular herbs and these are parsley I've talked about this uh, obviously in my herpes video in uh, April of 2014 so this is nothing new cilantro I talked about the same um, chives I never really talked about but again that's that's going to be another antiviral antifungal antibacterial basil and oregano is on here no surprise, the antioxidants in oregano are so potent. One study found the herb to be a better source of free radical fighters, aka acid fighter, than berries, other fruits, and vegetables. So let's take a look at this again, folks. Oregano oil, aka acid fighter. So basically, if, if you don't know what a free radical is, free radicals will happen from poor diets, um, you can watch my other video um, about that. It, it's basically um, something that is going to go in a chain effect. And the more free radicals you have, and the less antioxidants you have, I want to explain this in layman terms so people understand, the more of the bad guys you have versus the good guys, good guys are the antioxidants and bad guys are the free radicals. The more you have of the bad guys, the more disease you're going to have, the more acidic body you're going to have. So if oregano oil and oregano are very high on the auric scale, and th that means oxygen uh, radical absorbance capacity, I've done videos on this too, just if you click on the name of my channel right below this video, um, you click on James Destroy Diseases, you'll be able to view these older videos, you can look up this information. But again, if oregano has been shown in studies just want to show this here. So it decreases the risk of cancer, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. But you got to get high quality oregano. And 
oregano oil that is made from the species of plant from the Mediterranean is going to be the most potent. It's completely different than the oregano that you buy at the grocery store. Is the oregano that's organic at the grocery store going to be bad? No. But it's not going to be as good as the oregano oil from the Mediterranean that is not diluted. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people promoting diluted oregano oil. I, I mean, you can put whatever you want in the oregano oil. You're just diminishing the product. Oregano oil is meant to be done by itself. Have a high amount of carvacol and be natural. So if you're putting other things in the oregano oil, especially other oils, that diminishes the product. You need to dilute it yourself. Why? Because you're getting the most out of the product and you're getting the strongest form. Once you add water or oil to something, it dilutes it. When you dilute the product, you're ruining the effectiveness because now you don't have the choice to use your own way, such as coconut oil, to put that together with the product simultaneously to get it to your strength. So let's say you use the oregano oil plain on your skin. It's pure oregano oil. Use New Age oregano oil. You have MRSA or some type of skin, skin infection. Well, that oregano oil is obviously going to be more effective than the ones that are diluted. Why? Because they're not going to be strong with fighting that type of bacteria that's eating away at your skin. Some of those are very dangerous, folks, and they're antibiotic resistant. So if antibiotics aren't working on it, why the heck do you think something that's diluted is going to be much better? Well, to be honest, it is going to be better, but you need the most fighting power. If you're fighting a fire and you, you have the highest power of uh, water, which again is a way to get out um, that particular fire because water and fire, but it's really powerful and it's strong versus you have water that is very weak and it doesn't have the power to reach up to get the fire. Do you think the little dribbles on there are going to get put the fire out? No. The powerful water with the powerful strength that's shooting up at a very powerful speed that's going to knock any human down if you put the fire hose down is going to have the best chance along with many other fire hoses at the same time. If you're having, a, again, a weak one where it's not as strong, it doesn't have the power to really, you know, put the force into it, it's not going to work. Same thing with the oregano oil. you got to keep this in mind, folks. This is very, very important. So let's go back into the rest of this article. Dill, I've used this many times. Sage. And... Time. Now, you can add these to smoothies. You can um, prep herbs at once. Um, I find this is a part of a tip on the article that is good. I find that if I wash them, dry them, chop them up more, uh, more than I need for a recipe, I'm more than likely to use them again for other dishes. Now, you can put these in foods. You can do um, other things with these. You don't need a lot, and you can put these in your salads. If you're detoxing and you have a you know, a salad and you're using some leafy greens, nothing wrong with putting these in there. Just don't overdo it in the beginning because the, you're going to detox too quickly. And you might not feel good. So you want to take things slow. This is a marathon, not a sprint. You still want to use other fruits such as berries and, um, uh, you know, melons are good, um, even grapes. Um, but again, you can also use greens. If you're using too many greens, then you may not get the full abilities of detoxing right away. So take things with using the fruit and then using